All I gotta do is put my mind Good YouTube, it's your boy Tyler LaDuff and I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be sharing a story with you guys that I have not shared with, I wouldn't say anyone, probably like a select few of people actually know this story. But before I get started with the story, I just want to say that this video is for educational purposes. If you feel like you're going to get triggered, please click off this video. But this video is going to be explaining my experiences and hopefully you guys don't make the same exact mistake that I did. Because I get a lot of questions asking how people can come out or how to have a healthy relationship or how to find love or these apps and da da da. And honestly, y'all, I'm still young and I'm still making mistakes every day but i can i think that the internet is very strong especially youtube with being able to share stories and help people i think if people hear others experiences then it helps it puts a warm spot in people's hearts to just be careful and just be mindful so i'm gonna go ahead and start the story i was 19 years old now if you guys know me or have been watching this channel for a minute you know i've been um saying that i want to be more open with you guys for 2020 so i can give you guys advice and that you guys could um take it i don't know but or also hear my story so you guys can learn a little bit more about me but i was 19 years old and at the time i was exploring my sexuality and i kept a lot of things on the dl and i used a lot of the apps well my two main apps were grinder and jacked if you guys have been watching those are the two apps that i used <laughs> but um so I was like, you okay? Bless you. I was um, I was using the apps. You know, I used to get on the apps a lot, but I'm the type of person who likes relationships. But a lot of people in my area, um, in the Austin area, don't like relationships, or they just want to have like one night stands or whatever. And you know, at the time, I was like, I'm young, get my testosterone's up, and I'm just like, I'm trying to bust a nut too. You know, like most of the time, like, but my end goal was to try and find a relationship, but. If I wanted to like bust, and then I would go and find somebody on the app, right? So every time I used to find somebody on one of those apps, I would get really, really timid. I would get really, really scared. Like I at least need to talk to you for a couple of hours before I actually engage in any type of way with you. Like I was always scared to catch things, especially, you know, with rumors and things flying around in this community. Like, you know, you don't want to catch things. I always, you know, practice safe um in um intercourse and you know encounters but i was you know they had this guy on this app who said that his age was like 38 or 40 42 one of those at the time and you know he constantly kept on messaging me constantly and you know it made me i got a weird vibe it made me feel really really weird at first to where i blocked him but every time i blocked him he made another account and you know at the time I just changed my profile photo or I used to have like a photo with like flash like you can see my face but somehow some way he would still find me and then send the photo so I was just like eventually I was just talking and I'd be like what do you want you know at the time I never dated or like had any type of engagement with and with a person like 20 years older than me you know what I'm saying I'm just like I, I know like a lot of people that watch my channel, you know, like are older and da 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 if you like younger people that's all you but for me I'm that type of person who grew up like the guy or you know the dominant has to be older than the woman blah, blah blah like you know that or that's just my preference like i didn't like somebody who was old three years older than me that was like max you know what i'm saying like i, I that was a huge turn off and i think it's just so disgusting but 20 years girl that's just anyways so i was engaging with him because he actually was like really really fit he's really really swole had a nice body and like those things turned me on so i was like you know what like I'll engage you a little bit, like, even though you're 38, maybe I can, like, dabble in and there. Like, I heard stories from other people who said that, you know, they like doing it with older people because they have more experience. And I was like, ooh, let me get frisky, you know what I'm saying? So I eventually started, you know, entertaining him. It was always right off the bat, just like, oh, come over or come do this and that. You know, I would just throw him off. Like, you just like, oh, my God, baby, can you just come and, you know, like... Honestly, at the time, I liked the attention because, you know, I'm an attention-seeking host. So I was like, oh, please shower me with more attention. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, at the time, I worked at this restaurant. And I, you know, like I said, I at least needed to talk to you for a couple hours. But something in my head was always like, keep this guy at bay. So two days later, 
I received a message from him. And he was like, are you into threesomes? And I was like, no. Y'all, I don't like doing that. Like like I said, I'm like a commitful person like in a relationship. Like I want to be in a relationship. I only want that. Or like if I'm doing a one night stand, I only want one person. Especially because like the more bodies you add on, the more, the higher risk that you have to catch something as well. Because I'm like, uh-uh, I'm just, I'm not with it. I don't even want to talk to you. You know, I'm just thinking like, I, I really don't even want to talk to you. But here I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, whew. So that night, um, two days later, he was trying to get me to come over. And, you know, he wanted to be like, oh, just please, babe. Like, have a threesome. Like, he's fine too. And that, that, that. I'm just like, no, I'm not doing it point blank, period. Like, I already made up my mind. I didn't want to do it. I said... I'm not doing a threesome. I'm, I haven't even met you before. I, I don't even know who this other guy is. Like, I just, I don't. And he's just like, so you never did it? Like, it's so much fun. Da, da, da. So, like, he's talking and talking and talking. And then he starts convincing me a little bit. And I'm like, should I do it? Like, one time, like, my first one, like, ever. Like, you know, like, should I do it? And then I just told him again. I was just like, I will politely decline. Like, I really don't want to do this. Um, yeah, no. But then I told him. If it's just you, I will come over. And you know, y'all, this is at like 10.30 at night or like 11, 11.30 at night. You know, it was like, it was really late. Like I lived with my mom at the time. So I, uh, I waited and, you know, I was able to drive because I have my own car. So I waited for my mom and my brother to go to sleep. And um, I was just like, I guess I'll get ready. Because, you know, he agreed. He was just like, oh, yeah. Like if it's just me, yeah, we can do that. Like, you know, like I'll give you my address. Here you go, baby. I can't wait to see you. Nah, nah. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm getting ready. And he's just blowing up my phone. He's just like, are you coming? Are you coming? Are, like, are you still coming? I'm like, yes, I am coming. I promised. Sorry, y'all. This story is giving me a headache. Like reflecting back on these things, like it just stresses me out. Because I'm just like, Tyler, you really put yourself into some bad situations. <laughs> So like bad situations and I put myself in this bad situation so he gives me his address and you know I'm getting ready to go over there and I finally get dressed and I hop in my truck and I'm driving and for some reason my intuition was just telling me like don't go don't go like be safe like be careful like you know like you should just go back home and go to sleep you know a lot of the time my intuition is right and I just don't listen for whatever reason because I'm just stubborn and hard-headed, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so I pull up to these apartments. And at first, it was, like, inside of a retirement, like, apartment community, like, for old people. And I was like, screw it. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Why is he in a retirement home? Like, why are these retirement apartments? Like, I'm just so confused right now. Like, holy bonkers, Thailand just... <laughs> Yeet! It's time to go! <laughs> but I still drove right on through him. So I had trouble finding his apartment and it started to rain. I just, I'm starting to remember things so vividly now because it was just so, it was just one of the most weirdest, terriblest encounters I've ever had. So I park and he tells me the apartment number and apartment building. So he was on the third floor and I went up to the third floor and I knocked on his apartment door. And I was so scared. And I was like, oh, sorry, my head hurts. I'm, I get like headaches like right here, like whenever I remember things. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so I knock on his door and I'm just like, Tylen, it's never too late to just turn back around. But you know, me at 19 years old, just wanted to just, you know what I'm saying? So he opens up the door. And y'all, he's butt naked i'm like you ain't got no clothes on. like you ain't worried about nobody seeing you well i guess you are on third floor and it's like 12 o'clock at night huh so he opens up the door and he's just like hard you know like like I, i'm talking about this man had like no body fat i'm talking about like 0.5 percent body fat he was just nothing but like lean like i'm just like oh my gosh like i'm just so scared like he was just a little bit taller than me and i'm just like Ooh, I'm just like, like you're big, <laughs> you're a very big man. Like this man was like six one, you know, at the time I was, I think I was like five seven, like five eight, one of those. And I, he, as soon as he opened up the door, he just like, I kind of like took a step, and he kind of grabbed me. He said, "What's up, baby?" And then like started kissing me already. Right, I'm talking about just he just started kissing me, and then like you know, kissed me on my neck and stuff. And I was like, "Who do you move very, very, very quick?" So you know, like. I played along with it. I was just like, okay, like, ha ha ha. I was like, you're gonna invite me in? He's like, come on, baby, come on. 
So it's like pitch black dark in this apartment. Like not one light was on. And I started getting scared. And he closed the door and I walked in. I was just like, you have a nice apartment. Like this is nice. But y'all, it really wasn't like all that, you know, like. I was like, you know, I, I really thought he was going to be like some old man and he was going to like kill me or something because he was in this retirement apartment thing. But apparently he wasn't because I asked him, I was just like, so you're in a retirement apartment complex? He's just like, oh, no, you see, like my apartment complex is like mixed with this apartment complex. Like the apartments in the front are like retirement for like old people. But these back here are like everybody. I was just like, OK. So I asked him, you know, I started getting like this eerie feeling. I was just like, where's the restroom? Because I really got to go. And he's just like, oh, okay, baby, I got you. Like, it's right around the corner over here. So he shows me it. And he's just like, I'm going to be in that room whenever you get out, okay? And I was just like, all right. So I closed the door and I locked it and I sat in the bathroom. And, you know, I was taking a shit. I was so scared. Like, y'all, like, before I even, like, get, like, into an encounter, I get really scared and I get really nervous. So normally I drink before, like, you know, to help me soothe and like that. Da, 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 but I didn't have no alcohol at the time. So... I'm just sitting in the bathroom, I'm just like, oh, I just like, I just can't believe this. I'm like, Thailand, you can go, just go, just go to the door, just go. But I just didn't, I sat in the bathroom for like 10 minutes and he was like texting me, he was just like, are you okay in there? Like, are you coming? Like, da, da, like, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to put this inside, you know, like stuff like that. And I'm just like, Whew. I was like, my heart's racing right now. <laughs> I just like, it just makes me so easy and so uncomfortable because I've been running away from this for like so long and it took me a while to actually realize what, what it was. Like when I left that night, I was like mind boggled. I was just, you know, like just forget about it, Thailand, it's okay. Like, and then I didn't have anybody. I was just alone and just scared and was scared about being judged, scared about being open and honest. So I just kept these feelings to myself. And those things affect you. It just tore, tore me down on the inside. But anyways, I got outside the bathroom and I was like, oh, it's still so dark in here. And I just like, uh, so I was like, hey, where are you at? Like, you know, like, and then I walk around the corner and I walk inside of the room that he told me to go into and it was him and some other guy. And I was like, oh my gosh. I looked at him and I told you, I told him, did not tell you I did not want to have a threesome. I didn't want nobody else. Like that's when I started getting nervous. He's just like, I know baby, but let me show you like a good time. Like I promise you, like you see like he sticks big and like, you you want to take it? You want to take you want to take your shlondong and like you want to take mine? Like I got you, baby. I'm gonna make you feel so good. And you know, at the time I was like, no, like I, I just don't want to. And he's just like, well, you're already here. Like you know, just just come on, just come on. And I'm just like, Ugh. so I sit on the bed and he's just like, so you're not gonna take off your clothes? And the other guy's like looking at me and he's touching me. And I'm just like, I don't really want to do this. Like I just like. You know, I just told him, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. <laughs> but this guy was like, it, it just seemed like he was just on something. Like he was just on drugs and he was just like, nah, baby, let me, let me, got, let me get you. So like, I was sitting like this on the, on the bed, like on the edge of the bed. And like, he like gets on top of me and I'm like, really like trying to like stop. And I'm just like, okay, can you like, please stop. And then like, he just like grabs my hair and then he pushes me down. I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, what is this? Like, this is just so weird. Like, you know, like I've always wanted my hair pulled. Like, you know, like I like that, but I'm like in this way, like this is not it. And I was just like, uh-uh. And then he's like trying to like take off my shirt. And like, I let him take off my shirt, but then he tried to like take off my undergarments. And I was just like, okay. I was just like, stop. And he's just like, no, no, no. And I was just like, okay, can you like, can you please just stop? And he didn't stop. He just kept on taking off my clothes. And you know, the other guy like got on me and just shoved his, you know, sladong in there, in this area. And it was painful. 
it didn't feel good because it was kind of like a me just holding like being so tense and i was like trying to push him and he was just like no stop and then he held me down like poof i'm so sorry <laughs> ah i'm so sorry okay so as all that's happening the guy, the other guy who actually invited me to go was like holding on to my legs and I was just like, okay, can you please stop? Like, I really don't want, I really don't want to do this. He's like, no, baby, like, no, no, no. And like, he just spits on his sadong and then he just shoves it on it in, in me. And I'm just like, oh, like it hurt because it wasn't like enough like lubrication. And I was just like, oh my God, like, I'm like literally like just yelling and it wasn't like a good job. I'm just like, can you please stop? He didn't. Can't even look at the camera <laughs> because this is something like my heart's just racing. So it's just like, I told them both to stop again and they both said, no, take this. And I'm just like, Oh my God, so here I am, I'm just like, I'm in an uncomfortable situation and I'm being like pinned down. Like these guys are like bigger than me. Like I, I'm just like, I can't fight my way out because literally in the, in the moment, like they're being so aggressive. Like, I don't know how to explain it in a way to like be open with you guys to let you guys know how aggressive they're being and just didn't have any care for me and what I'm like saying, like, can you stop? And they're not stopping. And they're like so into it. And like, all you hear is like their moans and just like, oh my gosh, this feels so good. But I'm just like, I'm hurting so bad right now. Like this, this just hurts. You know, the first guy, like he busts in like five minutes in me. And at that, he did not use any type of protection. And then he was just like, oh my God, like this is so good, I'm gonna bust again. And then he did it again. He's like, oh my God, I'm gonna bust. And like the other guy is like slapping this like thing in my face. I'm just like, oh my gosh. So eventually like they flip me over. And as I'm just laying, I'm just thinking like, why didn't I be more careful? You know? I should be more careful and I should have listened to myself because now at the time I just had to pretend that, I just pretend that I liked it. I had to pretend. I'm like, what What else am I going to do? You know, like, if I trigger them to get even more angry, who knows what they would have done to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know. So I'm just laying there and it's just going repeatedly. Like, I was just like, at this point, like, for me, like, if somebody ever broke inside of my home, I would always be like, oh, what do you want? Or like, you know, like lure them, you know, like just play along with their game. So like, I have to protect, you have to protect your own life, you know, like, so I just started playing along and it just, it felt like hours, it felt like days. And then like only an hour and a half passed. And I was like, okay, so like you, you like busted like five times. Like, can I go now? And he was like, no, come here. And he put me on a chair and then he wrapped my hands behind my back. And I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Like, and he starts doing it again. And like, it, it just, it's just so much pain and there's so much anguish and it's just so much like, emotion just going through your head, you know? Like it was just absolutely like terrible and it's traumatizing. And I just, I still to this day don't know how to process it. I never cried about it. I always kept it on the inside and just was like, it'll go away, the thoughts will go away, but literally it's been like three years and those thoughts are still circling. It'll actually be three years in March, which is next month. March has always been such a hard time for me. But y'all, this, uh, fiasco or whatever you want to call it last i had work the next morning remember i worked at a restaurant and i had to i lied and said that i had to be there you know as soon as they opened which was i had to be there at like 8 a.m but literally my shift was at 11 a.m and y'all you know, i got to this man's house at 12 a.m and i did not leave until sun came up like 
was like 6.45. Can you imagine just being in that uncomfortable situation for six hours? All for just being dumb. Six and a half hours. I was just like, I have work. I'm so sorry. Like, I have work. Like, can you please just let me go? And you're just like, okay, baby. Like, I'll let you go. Like, we can continue this another time. Like, you know, like, I really enjoyed this. And, like, the other guy was like, yeah, bless me. Like, you know, whatever. And I left that apartment. It was, it just felt like everything was stripped from me. But it was, like, trauma to where it was already just thrown in the back of my head by now engraved inside my brain of just horrible <laughs> but I went to work that same day and just acted like nothing happened so I understand what people go through especially if people have stories like this like it's just so uncomfortable and I don't know if I will ever be able to process this or just, you know, understand like why or just the, uh, the feeling of being po powerless, the feeling of you not having control over your own body was just so degrading, you know, but the fact that I'm here today to share the story and how I messed up, I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes. So whenever you guys are doing this, you guys need to be completely careful. And, you know, that has made me stronger and learned a lot more and a lot more knowledge, especially being so young on like what not to do and to help even people that are older than me, just like, you know, hey, like these things can happen, but just be, be careful. Like I, I felt so dirty, like, no, 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 no raps were used. Like, I thought I had something. It's just like my brain, like at work, like I was, it was just fried. Like I was just, I have to go rush to go get tested. I got tested so many times after that. And thank God I didn't have anything. <laughs> and I'm so, I would just praise the good God almighty. I didn't have anything. And I, I made sure to get checked like three months after that as well. Like, you know, but as soon as I left, I blocked. I even deleted the app for a little bit. I just couldn't believe myself. But like I said, I'm glad that I'm here today to be able to tell the story. And you know, I always try and keep a smile on my face or just have a smirk because I hate how life is. I hate that life can just be so evil and so cruel to people. And somebody has to show people that there's still love and care in the world. And that's what I want to show. Ultimately, I want to show that there's love and care. So yeah. I hope you guys take as much advice from this video as possible. Um, this is me being 100% upfront and honest. This is me being a white canvas. I'm probably not gonna edit this video because I just want you guys to see the raw uncut footage of just me. So I love you guys so much. Thank you. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.